Oh. oh, you're okay. So, Christy also wanted me to divulge some things that readers don't know about me. Um, I have ADD. I, I'm not shy about that, so some of you might know that already. And it's been a challenge my whole life. I did third grade twice. Um, I always had to take medicine to do any kind of real job. Um, I wrote the first two books, well actually all of the books, without taking any of the medication. Just because having ADD just means you like to daydream about things that you like. And I really like to daydream about my books. And then I write them, so it all works out really well. Um, I had read when I was 36. That's something a lot of people don't know. Because 36 is kind of a lot, or a, 36 is kind of old to have your first baby. But I'm okay with that. I, was a, I would have been okay if I was 45. Um, or whenever. Um, hey, messy face. Um, I am from Indiana, and I still live in Indiana, about half an hour from where I grew up. Um, my husband and I, we are part of a pre-marriage mentoring program at our church. We mentor people who are going to be married, and we get them prepared for what being married is like. Um, we actually went through the whole program when we were married, so it's really awesome. Um, let's see, I'm a pretty boring person. I like to write books, and beyond that I like to read, and beyond that I just take care of a baby. And before I had a baby, I mostly just read books and I wrote books. So, I'm really boring. Um, I don't have any other hobbies, I'm not good at anything else, just writing the books. And it's quite a process since I have ADD, I just kind of have a bunch of goals and scenes and characters and I write most of it and then when I get about 75% of it done I reevaluate it all. I usually rearrange most of the chapters or at least some of them in the middle and then somehow it comes out in order and people like it a lot so I'm really surprised that I can even write a book but I guess God knew what he wanted to do with me, and this was it. So, having a baby and writing a book at the same time. So, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do this again, but I will. I love to write, and I have so many books still in my head that I need to get out. So, there will be more. It's just going to be a little more challenging. Now that this little guy is here. Hello, Red. Um, I have three cats. Lily, she's the elderly cat. And then there's Pumpkin and Clover, who were kittens right before I got pregnant because I thought that we weren't ever going to have babies. So I thought, let's just get some more cats. And so we did. And now we have three cats and a baby. And me writing a book. It's kind of a full house, and it's kind of crazy sometimes. Um, Rhett was the first baby on both sides of our family. So he's a little spoiled, but that's okay, because he's, he's adorable. Just look at him. Um, um, I don't know. I'm a pretty open person. I don't, I don't know. There's a lot about me. I just am myself. I try not to pretend to be anything I'm not. I'm just me. And 